Hello, dear friends. Let's have a cup of uh, sweet love tea. And uh, uh, I cannot open it. What happened? One moment. Okay. This tea <laughs> still cannot open. I will hide my clumsy and open it a high away from you. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, I got it. This is sweet love tea. And the other day I did a tea video. Some friends would like to to see this sweet love tea. And uh, so I will first save my time by <coughs> so that the water will not be too cold. It has already been cold enough. Oh, this is a little bit dirty. I'm sorry I didn't take good care of you. I do like the snake and the bamboo heart. Okay, the bamboo heart. That one I will wash it another time. This is the heart and bamboo. I call it bamboo heart. I just suddenly thought about this name. Put some tea here. This one you can see. Too many of these. <coughs> there is red pepper and uh, this typical Indian sweet stuff, it's uh, like a chai. It is chai. Yeah. I think that's enough. As I remember, this is a very strong flavored uh, tea, so it's better put in moderation. Otherwise, it will be so strong or too strong. And it seems to have uh, some. Um, Cumin seed or something. It's uh, as last time I said. It's like the meat, cooking the meat or or cooking stuff. Huh? It is not sealed. What happened? Not sealed very well. It's okay. Last time I did a video of uh, of tea of 27 minutes with my full feeling of guilt and uh, and uh, just feeling guilty to to have so. Uh, to have such a long video, blah, 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 without talking about uh, anything. And, uh, sorry, I'm looking for some information about something, something called auto Autonomous or let me go there. 
Let me find it out. <clears throat> yes, coming to this stage, to this page, or oh, must be a um, uh, yeah, I just cannot find it. I cannot find it. Oh, ça c'est... c'est pas bien. C'est pas bien. Il se cache. Il se cache. It is hiding. Hiding. I think it must be in my paper cutting stuff. Paper cutting. Oh, ASMR. A S M R A S M R. Let me look for it. What it is? <coughs> yeah, the T is getting getting to its full. Wow, it's a six minutes already. Six minutes already. Six minutes already. Okay. ASMR. Now I'm on my on my uh, <coughs> computer and searching for this ASMR. You can see the computer screen. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the team. <coughs> the team must be strong enough. ASMR Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response uh, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response is a physical sensation characterized by a pleasurable tingling that typically begins in the head and skull and often moves down, down, often moves down the spine and through the limb. Most ASMR episodes begins by an external or internal trigger <coughs> and uh, are so divided for classification type A episodes are elicited are elicited by the experience by the experience using no external stimulus and are typically achieved by specific thought patterns unique to the individual. So anyway I do some my my translation based on their brilliant explanation and make my poor translation. How about that? Okay, so there are two types of it. One type is that uh, it does not need external stimulation, does not need anything, it's just a self, a kind of self-achieved thought. And, uh, and this thought is very individual. Yeah. Something just to <coughs> make up story by him or herself, like myself. I yeah, sometimes we do not need other things, our, our own experience, our own richness of life, our own resource 
is uh, <clears throat> is more than what what we can digest. And uh, nowadays there are so many information with those information explosion, too much data, too much information. We get confused, and actually so much is coming from our inner heart. Don't you think so? And uh, <clears throat> if we just sit down and, uh, and think, we can get a lot of nutrition from our own heart, from our own uh, experience. Okay, that is type A for those individual loners. <laughs> okay, type B. Now I'm reading, okay? Type B episodes are triggered involuntarily by an external trigger via one or more senses and may also involve specific thought patterns associated with the triggering event. Both types of triggers are vary between individuals, but many are common to a large portion of ASMR enjoyers. <coughs> okay. So type A is these lonely loners and type B usually need an external trigger and uh, through this external trigger it provoke or it uh, brings up a thought from a person, uh, him or herself, then that he or she will think this and that and make her own dream or his own dream. Okay. And the common external triggers exposure to slow, accented or unique speech pattern. Don't you think that Hai Yin has this character. <laughs> yes, slow, with my slow brain, that uh, <clears throat> very slow in processing things and reflect things. Of course, I speak slow and accented, accent, accent. Accented, yes, with accent, bien sûr, je parle avec accent. Of course, 当然我说话有口音。我不是美国人，不是英国人。I'm not American. I'm not a British. I'm not native speaker, native English speaker. So of course, I speak with accent. And um, <clears throat> and my accent, yeah, I'm very sorry for my accent because uh, <clears throat> I am a Chinese speaker, so I have this very rigid accent uh, by nature, and uh, in the sense that is rigid for for English-speaking ears, and uh, in Chinese it's not rigid, it's just uh, translating or, or putting my way of talking into an English-speaking uh, environment. It, it has its own way, I have my own way of accent, which sounds quite uh, rigid in English. <coughs> And uh, also, I was, uh, I learned much more formal uh, orthograph, the pronunciation method in, in Paris, in, uh, <coughs> in French. So, yeah, with all the combination of all these, uh, and also, um, also I like to imitate uh, other people's way of talk. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, 
to study this broken English with a funny accent <laughs> or unique speech pattern. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty unique speech pattern. Okay, this is one kind of trigger. Also, viewing educational or instructive videos or lecturers. Yeah, and up to now, still I see my video. The most viewed one particular video has um, one of the painting video has 143,000 views or something. Yes, and it's still growing, going strong. 50 years and going strong. <laughs> yeah, and it's still growing. Uh, <clears throat> so that is uh, when I pretend it to teach painting. <laughs> yeah, those painting videos, those uh, language videos, educational or instructive videos, I did get a lot of view. I think uh, people just uh, have uh, <coughs> a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, 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 oh wait. I'm drinking tea. Okay. Yeah, this tea is very sweet. Okay. Uh, the third is experiencing a high empathetic or sympathetic reaction to an event. Uh, yeah, a high empathetic or sympathetic reaction to an event. Okay. Enjoying a piece of art or music, this I cannot offer you. I'm not doing art, I'm not doing music. So I'm just doing my daily scribbling and zigzag view wiggling. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and watching another person complete a task, often in a diligent, attentive manner. Examples would be fi filling out a form. This I never do. My family taking care of taking filling form. Writing a check. This I never do. Yeah, except when I get a citation or travel uh, traffic ticket. <laughs> Writing a check. Going through a purse or bag, this I will never do. Woman's bag is not for anybody to see. Yeah. I am totally against it to show a woman's bag. Maybe some woman has a better management, but at least not me. You will never look at my bag. Even my children, I do not allow them to go through my messy bag. <laughs> okay, inspecting an item closely. Inspecting an item closely. Yeah, my spoon videos. Yes, I have done some of these. Anyway, <clears throat> so this one we are talking about watching someone to complete a task to do a painting, my class plan things, yes. And uh, I work tediously and uh, diligently and attentively and stubbornly and just come uh, um, <laughs> like a donkey, <laughs> stubborn like a donkey, just try to get things, uh, get uh, the final result out. Want to get it out, want to get <clears throat> to understand or something. Okay, close the next one is close personal attention from another person. Yeah, I think I got uh, your closer attention. Uh, do I or don't I? <laughs> Haircuts. Okay, the next one here cuts or other touch from another 
on head or back. Yeah, we all, yeah, a lot of us enjoy those kind of itchy, tati, right? So, <clears throat> um, so often time we do not understand other people, other things. It comes from, we come from different walks of life and uh, we have different family tradition so we are all so different so it is quite uh, <clears throat> quite common that uh, we do not understand why what we like the other people do not understand we were created differently And uh, so often time, one man's food is another man's poison, right? Something good for me may not be good for you. And uh, this is just uh, how this world is. So often time, <clears throat> We are meeting new things, same as this cup of tea. Oh, sorry. I am fine now. Okay, this tea, I do not like it, usually. But tonight, there is a very special feeling and sensation and I like it. And uh, sweet love, black china tea, licorice, licorice roots, spice, guarana seeds, and pink pepper. So this one, licorice roots, I do not like. Black tea, I do not like. Spice, I do not like. Guarana seeds, I, I think I have, uh, I have drunk guarana in Brazil. And one of the very common soft drink is guarana. At that time, I still drink uh, a soft drink. So, I still drunk soft drink. So, I drank. Guarana, still I drink. And pink pepper, pink pepper I like, but pink pepper into tea I do not like. I'm sorry to be so picky on things. It's just uh, uh, I would like to show you what I really, what is truly, uh, yeah, I cannot open it again, so. What is truly I like and I, I do not like, yes. So, this tea is very strong, and this red pepper and uh, and that is that seeds make it very sweet. And for me, from my tradition, from my uh, habit or my way of thought, tea cannot be so. Uh, tea has to be pure, right? With so many things like chai, it is uh, it is not uh, my my most favorite. Anyway, but such is life. We will meet a lot of new things. Often time we go to a coffee shop, and yeah that is another coffee story i do not even have have time to finish it and uh, 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 uh. sorry i forgot where was i uh. and uh, <coughs> but tonight with this quietness and with this uh, 
not so so dense the quantity it just make it very sweet and warm especially I feel stomach ache and this one touches my heart and uh, this sweetness that uh, savored slowly quietly make a total difference and uh, just uh, do not have uh, a precondition or do not have your your thought geared that you like something or not empty your heart and be humble and be nothing totally embrace something new something different something you do not know you are not accustomed to and uh, start to enjoy it to savor it to cherish the moment and uh, everything has its beauty everything has its beauty has its own unique character and this way giving up yourself minimize yourself this is a way to glorify the things the subject the, the object you are enjoying so all these this video, this blah blah blah, is to telling, is trying to tell one thing, that uh, be humble, be open, be small, be empty, and enjoy everything else enjoy what the world has offered us from a new perspective from a new angle when you change yourself change your mood when you decide to change your mood things will change a cup of tea will become the most enjoyable, although it used not to be so. Love, sweet love. Like this picture, I need to change a cup of it, a change a lid. This lid is so tight. I think I have 10, 20 of these cups, or even more. Next video I will do a if you like, okay, I will do a video of this, uh, this little tins, little cans. What do you call it? It's tin or can? Maybe tin. The little mini tins, like it. So I will slowly drink it, one cup at a time. One cup at a time, one spoon at a time, one sip at a time. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. You don't like to hear me to say drinking like a donkey, right? That is actually a Chinese saying. We say the elegant, uh, fair lady, they drink tea, they savor tea by sipping. And normal people drink tea by drinking. And, uh, and the people who is very, um, <laughs> very original, very, uh, gangai, or worker, or something. Anyway. 
uh, a very uh, unrefined way of drinking is donkey drink, Lui. donkey drink, Lui. and when I was young, my student, my, my classmates was always uh, joking around, Haying, you Lui. Haying, you are donkey drinking again. <laughs> Let me make it, uh, yeah. Oh, the video is coming to an end. Okay, gosh, 30 minutes. Whew.